Please welcome Katherine Hahn. Conventions. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. thank you for being here on the live show. I got, I got to ask you, as long as we're talking about the conventions, uh, is this true that you're from Cleveland? I am. Are yeah. you still a family back there? No, my whole fam family's there. Yeah, okay. everybody. Your whole, your whole fam my whole family. Fam there Are... used to be a. Uh, I, I grew up. I, my, everyone's there. I was there in the '80s. There was an ad campaign that was, if New York's an apple, Cleveland's a plum. Which was our, our city's That's ad nice. campaign. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Do they like the fact that the convention's there? Like, what, what's it doing to the city? Well, I mean, my, we're, they're in the suburbs. My dad, I mean, both of them, I think, are very excited about the cleaning up of Public Square they keep talking about. But <laughs> my mom is not staying. No, no one's, she's like, oh, honey, I'm not going anywhere near there with the, the guns and the, mm -hmm. the, the ma gas. Ma I mean, it's, it's nuts. Nuts. How many weekends a year do you spend at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, <laughs> Cleveland? <laughs> because everybody. <laughs> Never gone. Really? No. They've got like things that Jimi Hendrix touched no, there. No, but as my mother would say, she was like, "I'm not spending 25 bucks to see a sweaty T-shirt under plexiglass." <laughs> and I'm like, "I get it." I mean, I, right? it's I a pretty, pretty cool place. It. Yeah, apparently it's um, amazing. What do you think? Uh, do you? What do you think is going on between Donald Trump and Melania right now? If you were married to Donald Trump, keep breathing. If you I were am, married I to am. Donald Trump. <laughs> And he and his staff had let you go tell a speech that clearly had some parts of it that had been cribbed. Do you, <laughs> would you lay into him? Well, I mean, uh, obviously that woman has infinite, un, 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 unfathomable depths of patience <laughs> to be able to put up with that blowhard crap for that many years. Understand it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't. I mean, I feel it's like love. she would be. It's love. real, true love. True love, yes. It is. I feel like I might be working a Melania eye today, and I'm just thinking about that. And you honor. do have a little smoky shadow going. It's on. just a. Yeah. It's a. It's an easy look for a simple mom on the go. You're a mom yourself. The movie is Bad Moms. Yes. And Bad Moms is moms who give up trying to be perfect. Yes. And just let her rip. And just let it rip. No. <laughs> You know, just fun. Just fun. <laughs> um, are you a. How many kids do you have? I have 19 and counting. No, okay. I have two, two children. Fantastic. I have you two wear kids. it well. Thanks, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have two, two kids. Two kids. Yeah. Ages? Uh, about to be seven and nine. Okay. Yeah. Are you a good mom or a bad mom, in your opinion? <laughs> I am. I think I'm a mom. I'm do. Uh, Stephen, I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. So when I, when I, I mean, I definitely remember when my son was a probably not even a year, and I, I mean, he was a little teeny baby, not even a year. You know, he was teeny teeny, crying so hard, and I was like, "What's happening?" I was sweating profusely. I was like, "He wasn't eating. It wasn't." I was like, "What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter?" And I, this is my bad mom story, but I, I literally like opened his diaper. To, I thought maybe he had like pee, you know, whatever. I was like, maybe he's sensitive to urine. Because I had been letting him sit in it for days. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. You were, you were pickling him. <laughs> but literally, one of my hairs had wound itself around his balls like five times. <laughs> Horrible mother! Horrible mother! Okay, I still wake up in the middle of the night thinking about that. Almost what? castrated think, my son. You think. <laughs> You think you wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it? He's gonna be like, oh, yeah, I don't totally. understand. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, when he's Horrible. older, he's gonna go say to a therapist, I don't know why I'm attracted to mesh briefs. <laughs> I don't understand why this is a thing for me. Oh, yes, motherhood. Yeah, do you think, like, you know, mom, so much is asked of moms, and you're a working mom, you know? Yes. You're, you're, a, uh, you're an actress in demand. Do you feel like, do you feel like, oh my God, I, I have to make a choice at times? Or like, because. No, it's very clear. It's, it's my career, Stephen. What are you talking about? <laughs> Well, you got to. I mean, That's sometimes no, you don't have a it, choice. You got to. No, no, no. In this, thing. it's it's coarse. Like it's. I don't know what mom does not wake up in the morning and just thinks when they have to leave for work, like, oh, something doesn't feel right about this. It's like, 
of course you want to. It, it sucks, but it's also I happen to, be, you know, lucky enough to have a gig. I have you dragged them to work? Have you like dragged them to set and have they been on there with you and said, "Mommy's yes. going to pretend for a while. Don't ever do the things she's is about to pretend to do." This mommy's child. No, it's like no, exactly. It's hard. It's so awkward. They just like a craft service. Have table. you been with them when you're with a, a pretend child? Yes, it's very. Uh, my kids, although they, they're, they get it. They, I mean, they know as much as they. They've never seen anything I've done ever because they can't. Mommy's body of work is not meant for children. <laughs> but I, but they have, but they, um, they get it, and they, you know, they're just like it's, they're circus kids. They've kind of got, we're brought up in a circus, and they're terrific. When my daughter, I didn't let my daughter see my work back in the old days, especially yeah. when I was playing a character, and she was quite young, and I was on the phone one day, and I was doing the character into the phone, saying some pretty. Terrible things in character while we were writing a script, and I got off the phone. I realized she'd been watching me for like 20 minutes, and she's watching me like this. <laughs> and then she said, "I think I understand. You don't mean what you're saying." Oh, good. And I said, "Yes, Daddy doesn't that's, mean what he's saying that's good. for a living." <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. It was oh, lovely such to meet a you. Bad Moms will be in theaters on July 29th. Catherine Hahn, everybody. We'll be back with a performance by Anna. Stick around.